With the decline of the coal industry over the past few decades, and I think it's important to point out that east of the Mississippi River, coal employment peaked in the 1920s and production peaked in about 1990. Communities and workers in the Appalachian regions who've traditionally relied on that as a source of good jobs and prosperity have had to search for new avenues of employment. Challenging lending conditions for small business loans have left many local manufacturing, healthcare, energy, and agricultural enterprises in search of new sources of capital. According to the research conducted by the Appalachian Regional Commission and others, including the Federal Reserve, the Appalachian region has limited equity venture capital investment. New business financing models are therefore needed to support the diversification of local economies through small business growth. In 2013, the Appalachian Regional Commission and their partners committed to establish a new financial institution, Appalachian Community Capital, to significantly increase business lending in the area by pooling capital needs, attracting investors at a larger scale, and providing a simplified vehicle for impact investors that reduces transaction costs. Currently, Appalachian Community Capital has secured a million and a half dollars in new investments, I mean, excuse me, $15 million in new investments. And by October of this year, they will have deployed 90% of that capital to community leaders for small business loans throughout Appalachia. The first round of investment alone is expected to provide financing for 165 small businesses, and create about 800 jobs. ARC's commitment will enable local entrepreneurs to start their own enterprises, create good jobs, retain local earnings, and ultimately improve the quality of life for people in Appalachia. It is a very good beginning. Let's give them a hand and thank you very much. <laughs>